wanaona ah jamaa wanashinda kweli huko sote viatu kwa waliporudi shule ile mmoja akafikiria kwa sababu alichokuwa mikiona not having shoes was, was an opportunity eh? yeye alikuwa mikiona ni kwamba is a marketplace kwa akaenda kumtafuta designer akawa na marafiki zake wakatoa viatu akavipeleka India kwenda kuviuza leo nazungumzia kwamba ni one of the biggest uh, brand in the world ameuza viatu vya kutosha India na amerudi ni tajiri mkubwa na akamu hawa rafiki yake kufanya kazi kwake lakini alichokiona kwake rafiki yake was not a marketplace so we, we see circumstance and we define it differently what you see is what others see mimi nikiona circumstance i take is an opportunity ukiona una take is an opportunity pius na team yake ukiona una take is an opportunity others are not mazungumzia hawajafanikiwa they take it as a problem there's nothing called problem eh? is an interpretation ya ulicho nacho ndio zimeka kuchia mna hiyo kwa mfano Liverpool yeah. especially kwa Liverpool lakini walifungwa na Madrid finally iliyopita walikana kulia okay let's wait for the next one wakaenda kumchukua Alisson goal, best goalkeeper kwa hiyo ndio matatizo yao kwa matatizo kwa ni goalkeeper kwa opportunity ni ipi bring the best goalkeeper what did they do destroyed Barcelona destroyed everybody their champion kwa usio kachukua okay ni mfumo kwa hiyo Liverpool ongekuwa ongeenda kukaa tu na yule kipa wao yule aliwafungisha kila wakati so take everything aka ni mfumo unabadilika huo mfumo hata kama usibadilika how can i bypass it yeah okay sante sana sante sana kaka Ernest darasa kubwa sana mtazamaji wa Jitambwe Forums unapata kutoka kwa Ernest na kiukweli tumepata tunapata madini ya kutosha kwa ufupi sana kaka Ernest Uh, naomba tugusie uh, namna kupata hizi fursa kwa kwa vijana wetu kwenda ugaibuni kwa sababu ni sehemu kubwa sana ambayo wanahitaji ili tu, tukimaliza hapo tufunge na uandishi wa vitabu pia okay. na uh, kwa la kalaka ni kwamba uh, the easiest way ni kwamba yeah. ukienda kugugu jina langu yeah. the first session ni, ni channel yangu ya ya scholarship kuna yeah. inaitwa ebm scholarships ukifungua ile pale ukigugu utakuta ile pale lakini Uh, channel ya kwanza ni ebmscholarships.com ni channel ambayo inakuwa ina ina scholarship na post pale na kila scholarship na post pale 100% ina ikiwa na 80% na 60% siwezi ku post kwa sababu unajua huna ubavu ku survive maisha ya kule bila kupata 100% by 100% maanisha ni tuition fees and living expenses Ndiyo. everything covered wewe ni nauli yako kutoka huko kwenda huko lakini vile vile nina youtube channel ambao ni youtube.com/ EBM scholars. Yeah. Ukienda pale kuna videos nyingi. Kwa kila scholarship I post naielezea sasa. Yeah. Na break down how can you get that scholarship. Yeah. Lakini kitu cha mlele pale. Lakini vile vile ukija kwenye Instagram yangu kuna EBM scholars uh, ni one of the Instagram account au EBM signature utaipata pale. Kwa ukienda pale utapata pale tena mpango wa simu itakuwa hapo pale. Yeah. Kwa sharti tu moja yeah. usipige simu. Yeah. Tuma WhatsApp message yeah. kwa sababu hatujui time zone tofauti. Mimi yeah. kaza saba usiku umeamka saa tano kume kula maandazi yako unataka nipigie simu. Mimi nimelala. <laughs> Unaona. Kwa kikubwa ni kwamba tuma WhatsApp message usipige simu. Ni kuombe tu turuhusu tuwe tuna repost video zako na kukea, kabla kama utaweza kuona share na sisi tashukuru zaidi pia. Hakuna tatizo. Okay, asante yeah. sana. Tuzungumzie sasa uandishi wa vitabu kwa ufupi maana muda wetu nao na hisi unaenda. Okay. Uh, tu address hawa vijana <laughs> maana tushafanya interview yeah. na vijana waandishi kadhaa na tumegundua kwamba kuna wengi pia wana dream ya kuandika vitabu. Bahati moja mbaya ni kama tulivyokuwa tunasema ni kwamba kujitoa yeah. kunakoa shida. Tumezungumza na kijana mmoja ambaye anaitwa alikuwa Gertrude, eh? remember? Eh, ni kijana ambaye ametajwa kati ya vijana mia moja wa Afrika wenye impact. Ni mwandishi wa vitabu. Yeye eh, siri moja aliyotuambia kama unataka kuwa mwandishi, usisubiri muda maalum wa kutoka naenda kuandika. Simu yako hii hii. Ya mimi wanataka kusema pale unapokuwa tumia. Ni kwa ni, ni iwe uanzia hapo sasa. Yeah, kwanza nianzia hapo. Anacho kizungumza jetu ni sahihi kabisa. 100% ya kuna hiyo. Mimi nasafiri kwa ndege mfano kama Jumatatu ninaondoka. Mm. Nitakuwa kwa saa zaidi ya 30 kwa ngani. Na shuka na panda ndege nyingine. What am I doing? Watching TV for 30 hours. Okay. Na simu. Na type kama email najitumia najitumia mwenyewe. Nikifika kuna chukua pale na copy naweka kwenye na nini unaendelea. Sasa vitu kadhaa kwanza naanza kueleza kwa mimi What works for me? Yeah. Na mimi it work for you. Yeah. Watu wengi wanataka kuandika vitabu lakini wanashindwa. Wanashindwa kwa sababu kadhaa. Ya kwanza ni ile overthinking ya mwandishi ni mtu gani. Wanataka kuzidhani kwa mwandishi wa kitabu lazima awe ngugu wa theo. Mwandishi wa kitabu lazima awe Shakespeare, awe chini wa Chebe. Kwa ukiandika kitabu unawaza ile novel moja moja matata mno. 
Uwezo sasa usimamizi acheze mpira fu muanze nataka niwe kama Pele, niwe kama Ronaldo, niwe kama Messi, niwe kama Iniesta. Cheza wazi muanze ngasa basi. Wewe angalia kiwango chako. Hicho kitu cha kwanza. Don't overthink. Kitu cha pili ni kwamba don't allow the market to determine you. Andika unachotaka wewe kuandika. Ndio maana hata wanamziki akitoa wimbo unatoka moyoni mwake unakuwa una hit, unakuwa wimbo mzuri. Ila akiandika wimbo kutokana na market they will drive you away. Kwa sababu mimi mfano siwezi kuandika stories za majini siyo leo siji nimefanya. Yaani sile ile imagination. Siwezi kuandika stories za mapenzi hata kama zinalipa sana. I'm writing what I want. Na ndio principle ya kwanza. Andika unachotaka mwenyewe. The readers will come to like what you want. If they don't want is up to them. That's not your problem. Kwa hiyo hapo insu ni kwamba wasomaji wana miss kilichoko moyoni mwao. Wanataka kilichoko wao. Na ndio maana kwamba sifa kubwa ya inspirational speeches. Kuna video moja niliposti niliandaa what makes inspirational speech inspirational. Very easy. Ukenda Steve Jobs, Oprah, Gates, Buffett, everyone you think wewe ukichukua video una share kwa mtu mwingine in inspiration. They have wanataka the same thing. Wanazungumzia hard work you will fail, people will check will what laugh at you, you will come back whatever don't lose hope. The same story. But one thing is going to make it is inspirational. They talk in a personal pronoun I. Kama umesikia kitabu changu hiki hapa. Kama umeweza when I was in the fifth grade. Unaona unavyoanza tu kwamba mtu okay. The decision year. Yaani this is how we done it. Three things happened in the year 1994, 1995 in Kigoma, my hometown. They all made sense to me back then when I was in fifth grade. I was just 13 years old. Unaona kama unaona vandika. Lakini ukisema kwamba ah mimi nilifika kunda Marekani. Nilifight sana. No. Unaweza kwamba unaweza kwamba nilipokuwa hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi. Ndio unaona kwamba two two just simple two things. If you want to get a scholarship in the US, you must make sure that you take the English exams. TOEFL and IELTS, I mean, OLTS or GRE. After that, make sure that you apply many universities. After applying university, but make sure that you ever sometimes you will not be selected. It is very discouraging, but you'll make it at one point, whatever. Things of that nature. Then another speech in a, in a Kuja one. When I was applying for universities in the United States of America, I had to sell my cell phone to be able to pay for the examination fees. I did the tough exam. I didn't get the correct grades. I had to retake it. My friend so and so borrowed me the money and I did it in a good, good, good score. I applied 25 universities. Every single month I was receiving a rejection letter. I'm thankful on the last three letters, I got three uh, admission letters. Out of 25, I was so much depressed every time I'm receiving this kind of no, no, there's something you apply, utapata, utapata, but how you change it, you put I, it becomes inspiration. Kwa inspiration sabi cha ajabu. Huitaji kuwa Steve Jobs na Rudia. Umeshida sana saba ulifeli. How are you going to advise someone not to fail? Nilipo kuwa da sala tano, nilianza kuwa naiba maembe, nikafanya vina hivi, nikacha kwa skiza walimu, nifanya mteli, nikaja nikafeli. Kwa manake ni usiibe maembe. Unaona, so one thing, just write from yourself. Unakisha mle pale? Aya. Ukitoka hapo, don't put money as the main motivation. Kwa sabu kiputu kwa lazima ni umandishi mkubwa na uza vitabu na pata hela. Make market na kudetermine you hapo. Na kitu kingine, especially at African countries, we are starting people kwa za kusuma vitabu. Kwa bado, kwa wale kacha kumundu kuna kumunua kitabu, versus kuna kumunua kitu fulani, ni tofauti. Unaona? Kwa hiyo, wewe, mimi kwa mimi, what works for me, mimi number one priority ni kwamba, what if I die today? Mjiku wangu, mtu wangu bado mdogo, mmoja na maana wiki saba, mgini miaka mitatu, mgini miaka minane. Will they remember me? Wata ni kumbuka kweli, yata ulikini pae, ni ngumu. Watu to wawo, itakuwaje. Barack Obama, alimuona babake last time kwa miaka sujimi tatu, sujimi miaka mingapi. Hajia kumuona tena. Watu wa Barack Obama hajia kumuona yata babu yao. What if Bobo Young andika kitabu kusena maisha yake? We're talking about spiral and again. Because that's the reason I wrote this book. It's about my life. If I die today, what what are you going to do? I'm going to go to the same place. I'm going to go to the same place. I'm going to apply to the same place. I'm going to go 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 to the same place. How do you develop the topics? Don't overthink. I'm going to go to the same place.